Thank you. Good, more, good afternoon, commissioners. Um, as you can see in the um, packet from the email, what we were trying to accomplish was to keep moving the jail project discussion forward. And based on comments that were made here at the July um, RPS meeting when we were last here, and a couple items that we discussed then and are ongoing are in the email. So what um, I was asked to do with discussions with um, Chair Leonetti was to um, actually select a preferred election date if we had one from the powers that be uh, in our office. Um, so we talked about it and there's many factors that, that went into it, none really overarching. Um, if I could really say August or, or no, August would be fine, November would be fine technically. Um, but really what, one of the reasons that we picked November uh, really has to do with the longer time frame involved. Um, that gives us uh, a longer time frame, obviously, to do the education piece for the public if this moves forward. And then it also helps to um, give us more time to put together uh, really the, the financial numbers. Uh, I know at the July meeting, um, one of the motions that, that you made and that was approved was about coming back with those financial figures in, in February. Um, I put that date out there as an educated guess. Uh, since that time, in, in talking with Steve, uh, February, we can still come back in February, but you'll still probably have estimated numbers. The one that uh, won't be in by that time frame is really the property assessments that we discussed back in July. I think Steve said more likely March April. Or, April. or April now. Um, that we'd probably have those figures. Again, we can still come back in February, understanding it may take a couple months meetings, you know, with discussion and that. We can still come back with estimates and you like in February. But I wanted to update the, you on that. So again, the November meeting, if we don't have actual numbers to plug into the ballot language till April, gets discussed April, May, maybe even into June. We're then getting close to a deadline for the August meeting. So again, November may be preferable, but truth be told, if commissioners would like August for other reasons, and if that gets voted on, that, that's fine too. Obviously, we, we can um, work with that. Um, the other item um, in, the, in my email is as well, and again, we're, we're just trying to keep moving forward, and if there's things we can get done ahead of time and, and discuss, we're willing to do that. So that's why there's a comment in there on the ballot language. At this month's meeting, we weren't looking for really anything on the ballot language. We're really just looking hopefully for a decision on August or November of next year. And um, the ballot language though, we're willing to work with you. We submitted it once already. We understand why that wasn't uh, approved, but we know there were questions from commissioners. We know that you might wanna have your own counsel um, look at that. So that's why that was just included as, as part of the packet. Now, if you'd like that submitted, next month to start that process again. That's somewhat what uh, Commissioner Leonetti and I discussed, or we do separate meetings, we do it through emails and take comments. Um, we're willing to work on that as well. So hopefully when we, we do come back in February or March, we'll at least have the ballot language worked out. And um, it'll really just then be plugging in the millage rate and the, the financial uh, information. You know, before we begin, let me say with respect to the ballot language, <clears throat> I think what we'll do is from here on out, I'll put it on the agenda for every one of my uh, records and public service meetings. Submit, I think we already have your proposal, mm -hmm. and what we can do is commissioners can address it at the meetings here for the rest of the year. You know what I mean? If we want or, you know, however, until we get some resolution on it or if we have to have a subcommittee on it or something. But I'll keep it on my agenda until we have a finalized version that everybody agrees on and we can vote on. So with respect to the ballot language, I got your back on that. Okay, thank <laughs> okay. you. You're welcome. Would, would you like me to submit it? I know there was yes, some confusion yes, on I that. Yes, think, I think so. We would follow, you like it yes. submitted through yeah, by you, us? Yeah, okay, submit it through the, the procedures and that way it'll show up on my, I think I have a records in public service this month again. Um, so oh, later. Yeah, yeah, later this month. So we'll put it on that agenda. And for those commissioners who want to address any issues with regard to the ballot language, you know, send emails to each other, start discussion, and then we'll work it up each and every meeting I have until it's done. Okay. Thank you. Uh, on the agenda, on the speaking list here, Commissioner Haw. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, Vicki, in reading the memo here, or the email, whatever we want to call it, 
expectations were that at this meeting or a subsequent future meeting, we would be establishing a date for it to go on the ballot to allow you and Steve and whomever else gets involved legal, I'm sure on both sides, the opportunity and time to prepare the ballot language and get ready for an election. Is my it, assumption correct? Correct, yes, and, and the financial piece because depending again on which election, it has to do with timing then of when the millage would start. Um, so there's different projections on the property assessment values, there's different projections on wages, correct Steve, construction costs. So again, if we know the date, that's the date we will target our financials to um, of when the millage could potentially pass and then the dates that it would go into effect. Thank you. That's all I have, Chair. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Gillette. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Vicki, uh, and thank you for the information. I can understand needing information, uh, needing a date so that you could establish financial information that was most relevant for that particular upcoming date. But then you also mentioned that a public education effort would be involved. What are the plans of the administration deal to do a public education effort uh, with regard to a ballot proposal? We haven't, we don't have anything firm yet, but we've talked about committees doing um, outreach, getting out in, into the public. Um, we, are, we know we have to kind of get from legal what we can and can't say and what we can and can't publicize. Um, we talked about putting items on, on the website, potentially doing tours at the jail, things like that. Um, so that, that's what we've discussed pre preliminarily. Okay, I mean, uh, I guess I just have some concerns because there's been governmental entities in recent years that have looked at millages or other tax proposals and used public education as excuse to get, drum up a yes vote knowing the exact legal line they could go to using tax dollars to try and steer the outcome of an election. Right, and that is not our intent. We understand that, and that's why we have to be sure and get the legal counsel in as well as to make sure that it's informational only um, and that it's right. not and going in, in so one direction. So information on, on both sides would be presented, then, correct? From the perspective of giving factual information, this is why we're doing the jail. And, and yeah, and... and Probably, I would say, more of that would get into into questions, and, and yes, and depends on what the questions are for people, but they'd be answered right. factually. Sure. I understand and, that and campaigns are about which facts we decide to put forward and which facts correct. we want to focus on and which facts we want right. to emphasize. Right. But our, our intent is, is not to persuade. Could that happen? I'm, I'm not going to deny it, because um, people can interpret different answers, different facts on on that. But we're very conscious of, of that fact. Okay. Do you think there's a need, if it's on a November or an August election, to educate people that an election's coming up for the President of the United States? I mean, wouldn't they be aware that there's a pre there's an election coming up? <laughs> hey, are you, is that a question or are we almost done? It's a question. <laughs> no, I'll wrap it up. I, 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 I just wanted to share my concern. Thank you. Commissioner Brown. Thank you. Um, following up with Commissioner Leon about the uh, education campaign, how much money do you expect to expend on this education campaign? Do you have a budget? No. And if so, what part of your budget will it come out of? No, there's no no budget on that. Are you gonna, how are you gonna, time. How are you going to educate anybody without printing materials and things like that? We haven't even got that far in the discussion yet, to be honest, and, and if we can do that. It's a great point. It's one of the things we have to look at if we can expend. My answer off the top of my head is probably we can expend funds. And if it's over $35,000, so. <laughs> we got to approve it. <laughs> Just remind everybody about that. Just under three. All right, all right, a little no, bit of order. Anyway, but um, so, um, again, I don't think we need all this multi-month discussion on the ballot language. Let's be real. We, ballot language has been drafted in, in, in a day's time on issues of substantial importance, of equal importance to this, certainly. I think, it, you know, the key question is waiting on the true costs. What are the true costs of this venture that we're going to go into? And and that, that's what the bottom line is, right? Are we, we going to pay for it all up front, get the taxpayers for the money, or are we going to 
you know, go forward incrementally and pay for it as we go, as we can afford, as was proposed by the administration not too long ago. <laughs> Um, and is that going to be part of the information question campaign too? Well, you get some options. You could pay for it all up front, and we could go to you for more money, or you can pay for it as you can afford it, you know, incrementally as was proposed a couple years ago. Um, all part of the information campaign. And who will approve the information campaign? Because if Leanne's right. We don't want to be spending taxpayers' dollars to uh, lobby thing. But I mean, obviously, the, the things that coming forward because we don't want it, <laughs> you know. So someone's going to be advocating for it, and. Uh, and the literature is probably going to be advocating for that position. Can't just say we want to build a jail and here's why, and then hope you just go with that way. There's going to be encouragement to do so. What other partners are you envisioning coming along with us? And since this is all the politicians, all the partners that came forward to support the jail proposal, the various coalitions, are they all going to um, put money forward in a fund help support? The education campaign. Again, we gonna, haven't talked about funding. Are they going to put their names on the, the support that's come along? And we would hope so, but yeah. we haven't had any direct outreach yet to them. I mean, there's no doubt our jail needs work. So, um, but I think we're putting this bat language much. We're putting it ahead of the horse. We need the numbers first before we talk about anything about approving any ballot language. That's my personal opinion. Thank you. And just to remind, I think Vicki is here in part to say, look, give us, a, a, it's going to be in August or November, and then we can give you some more exact numbers. So I think her correspondence is, that's the gist of her correspondence is to say, give me an answer. If it's going to be on the ballot, then I can start to tell you if you're doing August or November, what the numbers are. All right. Because you don't know if the costs are unrealistic, you can waste your time doing it. Quite frankly, we haven't spent your time. Yeah. We ought to be spending our time dealing with the reality of the fact that it's pretty doubtful, based on our survey that we paid for, that the pickers payers aren't going to pay for it anyway. So why are we wasting our time going on the road that we know probably what the outcome is going to be anyway and do something we know we can control, which is build it and work on our new jail the way we need it as we can afford today, rather than wasting the next 18 months playing a game that we know is going to end in the defeat of this valid proposal. That's my opinion. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Romano. Hi, Vicki. Hello. <laughs> I got a smile on you. You know, just a thought. Just, I'm just wondering. I know this is a 20-year uh, uh, millage thing, but why would we go 25 years or 30 years? I'm just asking because I don't know. Schmeagel, Mr. Schmeagel, our finance director, why would we do 25 or 23 or 18 or whatever? I, I don't remember the exact numbers, Commissioner, but if we went from a 20-year bond to a 30-year bond, it added, I believe, over $100 million of interest to the project. So the long-term cost to the taxpayer would be increased. The millage rate, I don't want to say, I can't remember. The millage rate would be reduced, but we'd be assessing that millage rate for 10 more years, for example, or five more years, whatever the difference is. Or the the diff, you know the excess or the I'm just wondering if, if an additional five years would 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 make it more palatable millage rate wise or seven years. I, or I eight don't years remember more. it being well, a. Who came up with twenty years? Why did you come up with twenty? Typically, years? our when we issue bonds for building projects, we do it over twenty years. Historically, here at the county. Same question. So yeah, why are we doing it for twenty years? Why would we do it for twenty eight? Only because what? it's the, it's the reduction in total overall cost to the taxpayer over th twenty or thirty years. I'll, I can I'll, I can get you the exact Would you, because millage I, rates. I'm just thinking I'm not, I'm not going to be around anyway, but yeah. that's beside the point. <laughs> there, there certainly was a reduction in the in the proposed millage rate. It I don't remember how it wasn't like a three quarters of a mill or something like that. It might have been a tenth of a mill or because you know we just approved yeah. that twenty year for uh, our park over here, parks uh, in Sterling Heights. So we're looking at and we just started that, so that we're only in our second or third year of that, and that's for twenty years. And now we have that sunset right. clause that we're renewing now for our police and fire, and that's now only for another 10 years. And now we're looking at the jail, which would be for another 20 years. And I gave the same uh, question to the city manager at that time, and I said to the people that voted for it, if you can guarantee me that within the next 20 years there will never be another millage rate, hell, I'll vote for it. But I couldn't get that guarantee. That's all I have. Thank you, Chair. You're welcome. Commissioner Kleinfeld. Thank you, Chair. I know this is under um, correspondence. Um, I think that we should, uh, however you choose to uh, address it, we should um, make it something that we can um, vote on and, and lay to rest the date part of it. 
And if there isn't enough consensus for either, then we know that we're not going to get consensus to, to do it. But so I just want to let you know that I, I support that. Um, if, if we get a date set, and there may be some complications for doing it today because we may have to, we have some legal questions about whether or not we have to rescind another motion to move forward. But um, um, I think we could do it at, at full board if this board decides to do it. So it wouldn't, you wouldn't lose any time because this would move it to full board anyway. Sure. So hopefully, um, and, and with respect to the promoting of it, um, first of all, I'm going to trust you and legal counsel to determine if what you're doing is legal and just, and, and unless there's a motion that passes otherwise, one or two commissioners' opinions, mine included, aren't, aren't direction for you. So I think that you are free to create the document the way that you see fit with counsel saying it's legal or not legal if, this, if we set a date. Number two, I, I would also suggest that you create a ballot committee because you do have a right during non-work hours to go out and talk to com uh, community members and groups to advocate. And you probably wouldn't spend very much money printing up flyers to do that. So that would just be a suggestion. Anyway, um, thank you. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you very much. Commissioner Carabelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, may I make a suggestion? I think the, one of the issues is going to be what month? Okay, we've determined that that has to a decision has to be made. The other decision has to be made that can be done sooner than later would be the language minus the percent and all of that. So I suggest a committee uh, be formed by the uh, uh, a subcommittee be formed by this committee of a group, including Vicky and the sheriff or whoever everybody thinks that should be on it, to start working on that language to get that behind us. So that's not one of the issues we need to work on. So the language itself to be agreed upon about the board members here and, and with the parties involved needs to be put to rest. I know the percentage numbers or whatever is one thing, but the actual physical language, nima needs, you know, can be done. So I strongly suggest that's the, the next thing that needs to happen. Set? Okay, I, I don't know if you two are still. <laughs> all, right. all right, thank you. Yes, no, that I, was I, I, yeah. part of my intent. However, you'd like to work on it, we're willing to work with you. We'll, we'll do that. I think we should form a committee. Anybody interested in doing it, let's let's do that, and then we can start working on stuff before the next uh, records and public safety committee. I have no problem with that. S submit what you formally want. You know what I mean, and then we'll go from there, and we'll get some commissioners that want to serve. I'm sure Leon will be on a, one of them that'll want to be on it, and. Uh, then we can report back to the to the to the main group, see where we're at. Sure, go ahead, Commissioner Kleinfeld. I've not seen this done before. Um, I don't believe you're going to get. You're. Not, I don't believe you can possibly satisfy all parties involved with the committee. I actually think you're going down a road that is going to create a lot of heartache for you. It's my personal opinion. I know you've chosen to the, do that because some commissioners want a committee because they want to have input on it. I mean, generally speaking, we we get wording and we either vote it up or, or down. Um, if, if you go down that path, I'm just cautioning you that there's no way to satisfy everybody. And what, and, and, and what I don't want to do is have this board vote to put something on uh, the ballot that looks like we're telling the public, you know, we don't like this or whatever either. So I'm just concerned about how that's going to go down. And maybe the maybe instead of the term committee, maybe like what I think you use a lot is like a workshop, just to get some people or work group, yeah, uh, to get some people together to just talk about it. Because I agree. I mean, I don't want to banter about it meeting after meeting after meeting. At some point, if there's a consensus between everybody then we'll put it we'll put it in front of the board but more of a work group than than a committee I guess is what I'm thinking I'm going with okay any commissioner uh, chairman Smith thanks hi Vicki hello so I, I just want to and I know no one directed this at you but I want you to understand that <laughs> when we 
we you hear the little comments coming up about different things that are going on and you know I, I just want you to know that I'm sure me and everybody else these aren't directed at you they're just little things that have bubbled up and I just want to say that you know we know that you're new to this you know and you're, you're you're facing a tough task right now with putting this type of a millage on on the ballot and I appreciate it and I just want you to know because I can see that you know you take a lot of this stuff to heart and I understand that of course I do. And, and I want you to understand that none of this has any reflection on how uh, what we think about you so thank you you're welcome well, I love you, Vicky. <laughs> Is there anything else under correspondence? Anything else? Anything else, Vicki? Anything else, Steve, on this? Okay. All right. Oh, go ahead, Thank Commissioner you. Brown. Echo what you said. There isn't a finer administrator in the county than you, Vicki, because of all the work you've done. I've been in this, around this county a long time. We've got a lot of good people in this county, but you have to be among the top five administrators I've seen since I've been at the county. You've you've pulled projects together, and just, if there's one person we talk about trying to get people working together in the county, it starts with her. All the different agencies she's had to work with from north to south, with all different agendas, various, the whole variety of programming issues you had to deal with, budget issues and all the rest. You're the, if anyone can tie this together, you can. And there's certainly no disrespect. They picked the best person to come forward and try to push this through. And if anyone can get it, it it'll be you. So, I'll, And you're going to have help. But there's certainly no disrespect of me and any, any of these colleagues uh, of you personally because uh, – you're an outstanding person and, and done great things for our county and uh, and you're going to continue to do so and uh, I'm lucky we're lucky to have you thank you thank you okay we have a motion to receive and file this correspondence please vote do we have to vote on it <laughs> Poor Steve, man. Poor Steve. God, it's like this. <laughs> Poor Steve, man. It is funny. Yeah, he's scared. Poor. All right, we're gonna move. We're gonna move on to new business. Is there any new business, Commissioner Haw? Thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, let me say, uh, Commissioner Brown, I agree with everything you just said, almost. Um, not applying to Vicki, but prior to that. We, we've debate, debated this jail situation for, I don't know, how many months, how many hours. The, the three attributes, in, in addition to cost, ballot language, and I think Vicki's expectations in showing today was we would be able to uh, vote on a date uh, for the election to take place either August or December. November. I'm sorry, thank you for that. I was waiting for Leon to jump in, but thank you. Um, so, my, I would like to make a motion, and I, um, from a um, technicality standpoint, um, I was told we currently have a motion and we have a resolution and it was voted on and then some didn't think it was voted on. So my suggestion is I'll make a motion that we put the issue of August to have this appear on the ballot and assuming I can get a support that we deliver it to the full board on I believe the chairman said 26th. So I would like to make a motion that we prepare a resolution for full board approval to have this appear on the August ballot. Motion by Commissioner Haw, and we got a second by Commissioner Romano. Point of order. Yes. The question is, where on the agenda is this taking place? We had the correspondence, which which was we had a receive and file motion that was a pat made and supported, was filed away. Now we're under new business. Technically, I think we need to suspend the rules to add an agenda item to the agenda to do that. Well, we're not voting on it today. We're, uh, the motion, as I understand it, is to carry it over to the full board meeting uh, for a vote no. on the 26th. So it's not going to be decided today. Well, either way, either way, you're still you're taking action. It needs to be uh, needs to be on the agenda. Now, he could, he could simply just request it, and it'll get on the agenda by the chairman's directive, which, we'll which I have no objection to. I'm just saying... Okay. We could do it clumsily, or we could just let the chairman put it on the, if he wants to. 
So well, he just stepped out, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, well, Typical Bob you, steps well, out when we need him. That tells you something. <laughs> I guess that tells us. I mean, uh, we could also vote I, to suspend the rules. Yeah, yeah well, we I, could. Chairman, I totally would support asking the board chair to, uh, to put it directly on the agenda for the next full board meeting. Yeah, I, I would do if, that. If, you're I, in and I would, with that. I would, if he wants to do that, I, I would encourage him to do that just out of respect for your wishes to do that so he doesn't block Thank it. Thank you. I think Thank he may you. need CPR, so go help him. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the right person to help. Okay. Leon, go give him off. Whoa. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, Doc. Yeah, we got support. Yeah, do you, Commissioner Romano, do you, uh, as yes. the second, you support the um, so amendment? I'll okay. Let's make that recommendation that we bring it to full board. Okay. Going to call it to a vote then. This is to put it on the uh, full board agenda. Bob's back. Bob's back. You okay? <laughs> Bob, they we just were committed you to straws and who's going to give you mouth to mouth. That's what they were doing. <laughs> you won. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were gone joking. <laughs> yes. I apologize, we lost the vote. You're gonna have to do a revote. Oh, Mike. This thing's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad omen, buddy. Yeah. It's a bad Wait, omen. Let me help, Phil. I'm just telling you right now, you're damned. Let me help, Phil. It's not Bob going out and everything else. All right. So this thing passes 11 to 2. It'll go on uh, the full board agenda. The f people who voted no were Commissioner Drolet and Commissioner Myjack. Uh, this thing will what? go on the full board uh, for the 26th for a vote. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Public participation. Anybody out there going once, going twice, going thrice, public participation is closed. Adjournment. Commissioner Drolet. Commissioner Duje. What's going on? I don't see your hand. You're good. All right. I got your support. We're done. Thank you.